that we are going to work through the first project that you're going to be doing here in Mac 128. So this hyperlink is provided to you, and that's going to carry you to this page here. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to click on Introduction, and this is going to carry you through what we're getting ready to do. Okay? So if you follow this, it's telling you to open Fusion, click on the data panel, uh, go to cam samples, tutorials, all that sort of stuff. So that's what we're going to do here. I'll tell you what, let's go all the way through it. So we're going to go to cam samples, tutorials, I'm going to go all the way to tutorial six. Open that part. Now, we need to save this in a location that I will be able to access it as your instructor and grade it, critique it, things like that. So, we are going to go right over here. We're going to go home and we're going to create a new project. That new project is going to be your name and then Mac 128. Okay. I'm going to pin that to keep it up here at the top. So, if we open that, there's nothing in there. Now I'm going to save this. So again, I pulled it from one folder. I'm going to save it into another one. So I'm going to go save as. I'm just going to say tutorial 6. And then I'm going to say JD for John Doe. So now I have it here. So inside of this project, you're going to click people and I'm going to have you invite me. Now, this isn't going to make any sense because if I type my own email address in here, I'm not going to be able to invite myself, but I will do my old email address and it should allow me to invite okay so what that's going to do is that's going to send me an email that's going to allow me to join your project now once i'm in your project i'll be able to look through everything do everything and i'll be able to see um everything you're working on to make sure that we don't have any sort of academic dishonesty, any sort of cheating, anything like that going on. Now, once you have this project, now you're going to go back and you're going to start following along this and watch the videos, watch all this stuff. And if I was you, I would take notes because there is going to be a quiz at the end of this. All right, so the first video is just the introduction. These lessons will give you a good so overview just gonna give you on the capabilities of, of Fusion 360 Cam. All right, the next one, the next, I guess, chapter, I guess you would say, is set up. So we're going to watch this video. And as you're working through this, you're going to have Fusion open and you're going to be doing what Mike Matera is doing in this video. Right. Get done. Make sure the first that thing you save it. If I was you, as you're working on this stuff, I would be saving it as you go. So I would just hit Control S just to save it. And I'll tell you what, let me... So you see up here where it does not have an asterisk beside it and it says B1. That's because version one and nothing has changed so it's not prompting me to save it. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to edit this. I'm not actually gonna change anything. Change that and then I'm gonna change it back. Uh, obviously, you don't do this. I'm just 
trying to show you something. So I changed it and I changed it back. So you see now I have an asterisk. It is telling me that I need to save it. So I'm going to hit Control S and then OK. That saves it. So now I have version 2. All right. The, the, the people that do CAD CAM for a living, um, they live by Control S. They uh, just save your work. I'm telling you, save your work, save your work, save your work. All right. So you're going to follow through this. As you get done, make sure that you have your final project saved with everything done. And then um, obviously it's going to timestamp everything. I'll be able to go through and look at everything. Um, and I'll be able to grade it right here. So hopefully that helps.